That's the plan. The plan is the plan. It doesn't change. Every department in each business has a whiteboard. And on that whiteboard is the profit and loss statement for that department. And every line item, cost of goods sold, sales, labor, out of stocks, on time, to, every item line on there is owned by an employee. So the dishwasher can own the sales line. The dishwasher reports it. He might have to go to the accountant to get the figure, but he reports on it, and he's responsible for meeting plan. He's the cheerleader that's going to lead a discussion in that meeting, 45 minutes to an hour every week, on are we beating plan? Great. How do we keep doing it? Are we off plan? What are we going to do to get back on plan? So that you have everybody from uh, you know, somebody on their first day to somebody that's you know, managing the, the whole business is participating in this meeting. And that's how we engage everybody uh, in running the business. So, and I want to tell you a real life story of how that works. Okay, because you're going to hear a lot of theoretical stuff. Uh, how many people here meet a payroll, are responsible for meeting the payroll? Okay, not many of you. Okay, so this is, I'm going to talk, this is real shit, okay? <laughs> this is how it really works. 2008, 2009, you guys remember what was going on? We thought we were, it was over with, it was dark. And our organization, for us, for our sales, it didn't trickle for our, especially our producers, our wholesalers. It shut off overnight. And our bakehouse, which produces stone hearth oven breads and specialty cakes and wonderful pastries, they were hurting for the first time in their history. They were in danger of not meeting payroll. Has anybody got any water? Uh, and, uh, and, and so Amy and Frank, my, my partners, the managing partners of, of the bakehouse, uh, you know, they, they're having their huddle. Thank you. And they're saying to uh, the staff, wow, this is really bad. For the first time in our history, we're not going to be meeting our numbers. We're thinking we might actually have to lay people off. It's never happened. Does this mean I have zero time? Really? You give me a couple minutes, because it's a really good story, and you're going to appreciate it. OK. So, 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 so they came together, and, and they go, what are we going to do? And, 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 and that business, like here, there's a chef that, that makes a meal. Everybody that works a shift gets a meal, right? And, and the, the current chef had just quit, and they're going to hire another one. And they know exactly what that costs. They know what it costs to hire someone. They know. Uh, the fully loaded cost of that, and they know how much it costs to feed everybody. And, you know, they came back and they said, you know what, all we ever do is complain. No one's ever really happy. You know, they're happy and they're unhappy. Why don't you just don't hire anybody? You know, we got lots of bread and pastry. Put some cold cuts out there. Put some potato chips out there. We'll make our own food. We're going to cut out this amount of money. Great. What else are we going to do? A uh, bunch of the managers huddled, they came back and they said, okay, we will cut our salary 5%, but we want you to accrue that, and, before, and when we get back to profitability, before there's any distributions, any gain sharing, we want that money back. What do you think would have happened if Amy and Frank walked in and said, we're cutting out your entitlement, your meal, and we're lowering your salary 5%? Would you think the happiness quotient would have gone up? <laughs> no. But you know what? The happiness quotient went through the roof because they were empowered. They made their own. They knew exactly what the problem was. There was nothing hidden. They trusted us. They saw all the numbers. And they, were, they made their own decision to cut out things that were theirs that they had been getting in order to get the business back to profitability. You cannot get that if you don't have an open book. We have been successful over the last 32 years because we have a strategy that has sought to develop the human potential that surrounds us and not 